I have heard a lot of odd names for video games, such as Ah to the Awesome, or I made a game with zombies in it, and this game, VVVVVV, is certainly a nice addition to that list. V V V V V V V V uh whatever V times six is a game designed by Terry Kavanaugh. Originally, it was out as an Adobe Flash game in early 2010, but this 2D platformer was later revamped with a different game engine and released as part of the Humble Indie Bundle number three back in 2011. And man, did this game surprise me! From the very first moment I saw this game, I was already pretty intrigued because of the 8-bit retro style of the whole thing. But I wasn't expecting much from it though. Don't let the visuals fool you, for this game will have you sitting in front of your screen for at least a few hours, just whispering to yourself, Oh, okay. I almost got it. I almost got it. No, oh, no, I died again. This game is really, really fun. The story isn't really all that complicated. You play as a little blue man named Captain Viridian, who is on an adventure to find and rescue his crewmates after a strange malfunction that causes their ship to teleport to another dimension. And of course, it is up to you to save the day. That is, if the concept of days even exists in this world you're stuck on. Ah oh no, how many times do I have to tell you, do not place aluminum foil inside the microwave, it's gonna blow, No! The controls are quite simple, you can move left and right using the arrow keys and press the space bar to actually flip gravity around, allowing you to stand up on the ceiling and get around obstacles. And that's pretty much all there is to it. The way you play the game is rather easy, but mastering it is the tough part. From beginning to end, you will come across a very distinct amount of obstacles such as uh, squares, circles, uh, truth itself, and of course, spikes. Lots and lots of spikes. Spikes farther than the eye can see, oh yes. If you thought that wasn't hard enough, well you're in luck, because the game actually introduces a variety of game mechanics during certain sections of the surprisingly huge map. Some of these include a constantly moving screen, white lines that revert your gravity, and conveyor belts. All of this accompanied by the amazing chiptune soundtrack made by Soli. So amazing in fact, that the music is actually available to buy and download right now. PPPPPP is the name of the album actually. I really, really recommend it. It's easily one of the best video game soundtracks I have ever listened. It's easily part of my top 10, I can tell you that for sure. Hmm, it's funny how I can beat this game a numerous amount of times and still play like this is my first time getting my hands on it. Another thing that's funny to me is that a lot of people say that this game is really hard, at around the same difficulty as games like I Wanna Be The Guy or Super Meat Boy, but personally I didn't really find it that difficult. In my experience, it was just a matter of wrapping my head around the new things that get thrown at me, and considering the very simple and tight controls, I have no one to blame but myself if I fail. Now what is truly hard in this game are the custom levels created by other players, one of them actually made by the famous Notch, the creator of the ever so popular Minecraft. Some of the levels were actually made by Soli as well. Speaking of which, you are also able to create your own levels. You can test them out and have other people play them if you are into that sort of thing. Personally, it's not really my thing, as in I don't really see myself using it. But I do like the addition of it nonetheless for it gives a lot of juice to the game. Overall, this game is very, very good. It has been very well received in the gaming community, and it truly is a stylized gem worth playing. The visual style doesn't really speak to you a lot in the sense that it's no Call of Duty style graphics, but if you like the retro style look and you're looking for something fun and something fast paced and quick, then you can go check it out. 
for those three or four people that haven't played this game yet, go ahead and look for it on Steam. It is being sold for a very affordable price of $4.99, and if you're still on the fence about it, you can always download the demo and check it out before purchasing it. So yeah, check it out. It's V V V V V V V um V V uh, how many? Ugh. Okay, whatever. Go buy it. It's worth every single penny. Wow, trying to say the name of this game is like trying to spell the word banana. B a n a n a n a n a n a n a. When do I stop? N a n a n a n a n a n a.